Guys, look how I'm operating. Hi. Ah, ah. <laughs> Ow. We just picked up your girl from the airport. Airport. Um, she's back from a Portugal. Okay. Very nice. Mario, you're looking kind of sad. Yo, I'm looking kind of trash. Ah, what is it about to buy link to me? Ah. Now they're telling me about all these things. Ah, Mario, I'm shit in No. Oh, to my, oh, yeah, no, don't about her, all the baddies uh, are in damage. Like, uh, guys, what? like, damn it, 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 I told Azanka I was going to go to the house. Okay, okay. December. I'm not coming back because then what if I see a nice looking fine young painting? I got that more. I don't know. Don't go back to your father now. I'll take care of you now. And I'll take care of you. 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 Because that's why I'm going to go to the house. That's why I'm going to go to the house. Yoruba. No, not even Yoruba guys. Ebo. Ebo, baby. Ebo men are wearing sides. Yep. Can we turn over and get a clap? Come on. We can't go to the house of Lagos. Lagos City. Let me just watch like one or two episodes. Yo! Okay, the drama actually got a lot better. I was supposed to do the recap, but I didn't get around to doing it. So I'm actually going to do it. Let's do it now. There's a lot of I see. Hey, we are not hey. God's favorites. Right now. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know what's going on. But we are not better. God's favorites. Eh? That man's gotta do better. Like, mm, God has COVID no. and stuff. Like, dude, God we've been no. COVID in for the past three years. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't you think we're tired? God, God needs to come through, bro. I'm tired, bro. Ha! Bosties! And I'll pick you, pick you, my man. I'll call you. Bosnonke. I'm That's him. Who's going to take you home? Me. Oh, so you're going to have the breakfast with me today, and then you're going to take it. Oh, you're going to have the breakfast with me today, and then you're going to take it. Hi. How are you? It's another day. Am I wearing the same sweater? Yes. Do I wash it? Yes, I do. I've just come back from work and um, I'm going to put you up to speed with all the footage that you've seen before now. Uh, but before I do that, I am going to show you what I got from Woolies and Pick and Pay because I don't remember the last time I did a grocery haul. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember. I don't know. Do you guys remember? Because I don't remember. I don't remember and the power she is going in the next 10 minutes so i am going to leave the house i'm not quite sure where i'm gonna go yet because i'm not gonna sit in this house without power for the next two and a half hours i'm not gonna do that so i'm probably gonna leave uh and i've got school work as well so there's there's gonna be um um a school work stationery there's going to be a stationary hall. Um, I'm probably going to go out now and sit somewhere and look at my school stuff as well. Um, because, yeah, I, I've edited all I can. Uh, everything else will be edited tomorrow. And, yeah, so now before I leave, I want to pack the stuff away. And if you know me very well, if you know me very well and you follow this channel, you know exactly what's in these bags. I've also got pick and pay bags on the floor there. So we're going to get into the business of the day. What's new here? Okay. I'm, I'm not even... I, nah. Nah, buddy. Nah. So as you know, that's how I roll. I've currently just made another one. I have a green smoothie every day. In case you didn't know, I actually have one every day, five times a week. Uh, if I'm having a bad week, it's four times that week. But five times a week, and then I give myself the weekend to eat whatever I want to eat, whether it may be pasta, whether it may be pizza, whether it may be whatever. But if I have pizza, like, over the weekend, this Saturday, I'm not going to have pizza again next week. I'll probably have it a month from then or whatever because I 
that just regulate and moderate. I don't like to this certain stuff that's very, very rich in fats and all of that, like pizzas, which I don't, and pies, which I don't really eat. Pastries, I don't eat that much. But um, I indulge myself over the weekends. Um, strawberries, because what's new? Uh, one of my favorite sweet bean, sweet bean? Sweet curry, <laughs> sweet curry pasta salad, which I really enjoy as well. Uh, needed to pick up some new robot peppers, new robot peppers. I needed to pick up some fresh robot peppers. Um, I didn't cook the whole of last week and yeah, so I needed veggies because I'm gonna cook this week. Um, I got a set of roasting vegetables, which I really enjoy as well. More spinach. Um, my babes. My girlies, my girlies, my babes. Uh, this ginger juice, which is 100% juice with apple, ginger, and lemon, is the best thing since sliced bread. In fact, I'm gonna add a little bit of it to my smoothie chair. Just a little bit of it in there, yep. I love it, it's my favorite, and of course, you guys know how much I love the 100% ruby grapefruit juice. Love it, absolutely love it. So pick that up. And then grapes, because what's new? Um, more vegetables. These ones are the sweet corn medley, which I also really enjoy. When you saute them up a little bit and then you keep it moving. Really, really love those. Um, uh, I mean, my exotic tomato mi mix, the heirloom tomatoes. Love that. Love that. And then normal tomatoes, because how? Borotto, toasty, damati, sometimes. These ones are normally for dinner, you know, and I just want to add it to my plate. And then a fresh yogurt as well. So that's all I got from Woolies. Okay. I'm surprised that the power is still here, child. What's going on, power? What's going on, power? From Pick and Pay, okay. From Pick and Pay, we've got sliced pepper ham. Now, I really, really enjoy this with a sandwich. Got some smoked Viennas because Viennas are my thing. On the days where I'm really, really lazy to cook, I literally have a slice of toast with Viennas and cheese on the side for dinner and a cup of coffee, and that's it. And today, I feel like it's that kind of day. <laughs> um, then I haven't bought meat in maybe almost two months now, so... Don't ask me what I've been eating. I've been ordering out, um, obviously relatively healthy stuff. And then if I wasn't having meat that night, I would eat something else. I'd eat, have cereal, whatever. So I'm completely out of meat. So we've got pork ribs here, pork spare ribs, pork spare rib chops. Wow. Um, what's this? Chicken. Uh, fillets because I really love to make cubed chicken. You know, I've cooked something with like teriyaki and all of that. It's my jam. It's my jam. It's my body jam. Um, because we are in a winter, because we are in a winter, I also really love to make beef stew. So I picked up the beef, two of the beef boikies. Uh, I like to pick them up like this because I don't like to put meat in plastic bags anymore i'm kind of lazy not that i don't like to i'm kind of lazy i only do that when i have big trays uh but if it's these tiny ones it's great because i just put the whole thing in there and then take one out on a day that i need to cook whatever it is that i'm cooking um got some uh beef burgers because yeah sometimes you just feel like having a burger but you don't want to go to mcdonald's you know what i'm saying um white cheddar cheese what's new with me these are for, isn't those okay, okay? Um, vors, because I don't have vors. Mints, because I don't have mints. Mind you, don't forget that I don't cook every day. So when I have this, this will probably last me relatively a month. Relatively, because I don't cook every day. Um, or even longer, maybe even two. Yeah, um, what I do have in my fridge is fish, so I didn't buy fish today. Uh, this is what I typically separate because 
um, this is what I would typically separate because that is a lot of meat and these are lamb chops I'm not even gonna lie to you. I never cook lamb chops when I've got guests coming. I cook lamb chops for myself Because for three a about a hundred and sixty one rand you can you Can catch me outside. I'll only go out and buy lamb when I know that people are visiting because that's what I want to cook that day But I'm not gonna take out lamb that I typically have for myself for the guests, let me do us all. Catch me outside. Catch me outside. How about that? Catch me outside. Chicken wings. You guys know I love to make marinated chicken wings. It's my thing. It's my vibe. And of course, on Sundays, we typically cook a nice manana a drumstick and thighs bry pack. <laughs> so, got a lot of stuff here. I'm going to pack the stuff away and then probably leave the house in the next couple of minutes, okay? Last week and now it's warm this week I don't know at this point I can't really keep up with anything anymore but I just got back from work I need to pack this room up properly because it's looking kind of crazy up in here um, so I've got the books on the floor here for the giveaway which I mentioned in the last vlog which I think by the time this video goes up that giveaway will still be happening so if you really want to still enter please check my community post and my instagram post for this image right here and that's where you can enter okay um but for everything else i literally just needed to pick up some extra cosmetics things that i'd run out of uh skincare stuff and also a stationary haul because i have recently gone back to school and uh files exam pads pens whatever whatever so i'm gonna show you all of that and yeah just a quick catch up the vlog started off with maybe the, you might have seen a clip of it i bought my aunt i didn't show the part where i was showing giving her the cell phone but i bought my aunt a samsung cell phone because she had been complaining about her cell phone for the longest time and i was also struggling to get hold of her every time i try to call her so i uh put the bullet and i bought her a samsung just a decent really nice uh samsung phone and uh after that i was with hanya for a little bit of a sleepover she came through and well i went to go pick her up okay she came through how <laughs> what what she's like only like two 
you know um i went to go pick her up and we had like a sleepover evening where we first started out and we had dinner she was she wanted sushi so i took her to george's uh grill to get some sushi and then after that we came home and we watched uh disney and we watched a little bit of um some movies on amazon and netflix as well and we had a really great time slept quite late the following day we went to go watch the minions with uh Hanya's very very good friend who happens to be my partner they're like this they're like this and i'm pretty sure uh, she'll comment, but there's a lady who saw us, Hanya, my partner, and I having lunch, or we were getting ready to have lunch, and she came up to us and said hi. So, hi, girl. Hey, girl. Um, and, yeah, after that, it's just been a couple of days here and there of me getting my life in order. Uh, given the fact that school has started, I don't have time to vlog as much as I want to. But I try and include little bits here and there. And of course, each and every week, I always take myself out for like a, a lunch or something light, especially with the fact that there hasn't been power. Power has been so problematic here in Salva that uh, sometimes in the afternoon, like right now, there's no power right now, no power. But that's not a problem because it's, it's still like quarter to four. So it's fine. Um, yeah, so I take myself out and I work or read from the restaurant wherever I am. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. But I've been going to work in the morning, coming back in the afternoon. Nothing interesting. I was going to cook today, but it looks as if the power's only going to come back at like 7 or something. And normally by that time, I'm already done eating and all of that. I don't start cooking at that hour. Uh, really highly unlikely. Anyway, so... Just to show you some of the things that I picked up from this Kim Pick and Pay uh, cosmetic stuff so that I can get this stuff out of my, out of here, okay, and put the stuff where it needs to go. Um, nothing new here. You guys know that I love Franny Pani and oil is one of my favorite scents from the uh, Nivea Fresh hair shower and bath i really really love this and uh, coconut has been an all-time favorite of mine detail for the hands i mean covid is still around hey hands get really dirty hey um uh, my sensitive pro relief colgate because i'm a big fan i'm a very very big fan uh nivea pearl and beauty as always I am typically somebody who sticks to what I know. I'm a creature of habit. Um, and of course, these I've also spoken to you quite a lot about. These are the Yardley scents. Then I got a new face towel because good sis knows I need one. Good sis needs one. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then from this came, picked up some pads because... Do I need to explain why? No, I don't. Um, some facial wipes for when I have my makeup on and things like that. And then I picked up this, um, it's like a container for spritzing your hair. So, cause sometimes I want to add like a little bit of conditioner and water and actually spritz through my hair. And I saw this at Discom, Discom. <laughs> well, there was a shop called Discom, hey? Uh, I saw this at Discom the other day and decided to pick it up there it is it's kind of cute it's kind of cute no it's not cute no more uh, <laughs> and then i picked up my as per usual uh detangling conditioner from the dark and lovely all natural range and the dream clean cleansing conditioner i don't necessarily use shampoo i use this similarly to a shampoo there you go and then uh, to detangle my hair, because my hair gets quite tangled, to detangle while I'm in the shower, I use the Not Out Detangling Conditioner. These have been, so these have been really, really good for my hair, and I've run out, and they last me quite a long time, but I've noticed that the longer my hair is becoming, okay, the longer my hair is becoming, I need to use more and more product each and every single time, so... Of course, my neighbor's dog is going to start at some point. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. 
And then I picked up this uh, Palmer's um, body oil, moisturizes, softens body oil for bath, body and shower. I'm typically going to use it just for my skin for after uh, the shower. Every time I start talking, this happens. Um, so, apply directions after the shower or bath. Apply to damp skin to lock in the moisture, which is pretty much how I am going to use it, especially in the winter time. Um, so, I've never used this one before. I don't know. Um, I don't know how good it is, but I'm willing to give it a shot, especially in the winter time. And then something that I've recommended over the years. Uh, on my channel is the cocoa butter, but cocoa butter from uh, Palmer's as well. Very, very good. Oh, I love it. It smells amazing. I've spoken about it multiple times. I put Balisa onto this and she loves it as well. Um, picked up some fresh toothbrushes because when people visit, so he's like, oh my gosh, I forgot my toothbrush. And Hanya was the last person who forgot her toothbrush and I had to give her the last available one that I had. So I had to stock up on some new ones. And then I got the Juicy Bombs again from Essence. Love these. Love these. Um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely amazing. I normally get the clear one. Um, I've talked about it on this channel before. But... I picked, it, I picked these up because the clear one wasn't available at that time. So, either way, a gloss is a gloss, okay? Doesn't really matter. Still does the same thing you need it to do. That's pretty much it in terms of my cosmetics. However, run out of my facial oils. I use the Skin Functional Facial Oils. Love them so much. I always pick up the Blemish Corrector with 10% Neocyanamide and the hyaluronic acid which is the two percent plus four percent b5 and i love these use them all the time i'm gonna put them in my bathroom now because they're pretty much finished the other ones are pretty much finished i'll show you and then moving on to stationery now that i am back at school chat <laughs> now that i'm back at school um I like to, I'm very particular about how I study, what I use when I'm studying, that kind of stuff. Um, I like to have everything um, available to me. So one of the things that I picked up some school stuff. If you're a stationary person, great. If you're not, you might want to skip this part, but I don't know how much longer this vlog is going to be. But we'll see. Maybe I'll vlog again a little bit tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I picked up exam pads because... Do I need a reason to pick up exam pads? I need to do a lot of note-taking and writing and all of that. So this I picked up at Home Essentials. Is it Home Essentials? Or Value Mart. I think Value Mart because the things there are much cheaper. And while I was there... It's a it's a China it's a China store. It's the China Chinese owned. <laughs> it's a Chinese owned store. So a lot of their stuff is um, written in Chinese. But this is a a lever file, and I took two of those. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna use these for notes, photocopies, that kind of thing. Um, okay, then. And then this is typically where I would keep um, extra notes and things like that. I write a lot of notes, a lot of notes. That's actually how I understand things. I write a lot of notes. The only things that I didn't buy this time around are highlighters and mini pens because that's something I have in excess. Uh, so I didn't need to buy that. I did get some flags as well because I typically um, use a lot of flags when I am reading or when I am or sticky notes when I'm reading or when I am studying so these ones look like so they're pretty I love those colors really really love those colors actually and then these are the standard ones that I typically get even for when I'm reading love those ones and then these ones are also some really nice colors that I love too so Really, really nice sort of um, pastel colors. 
pretty, pretty. And then from p &A, I picked up a file, you know, and I like the white ones. I've always used uh, white arch lever files because this is where all my exam pads are going to go and my notes and all of that stuff. A flip file. When was the last time you picked something like this up? For photocopies, for extra notes, for whatever. It's great to keep anything in here actually. So I picked that up as well. Uh, picked up some highlighters. <laughs> I just mentioned how I have highlighters but these ones I liked because they are pastel. So I thought, wow, these are nice colors. And I picked it up. Okay, I did. And um, picked up some uh, different multicolored file dividers for this. I've got eight units in the course that I am doing. Um, and it's a life coaching course. And then I'm going to be doing something else after that. Executive coaching as well uh, with VIT. So I, I'm going to be taking a lot, a lot of um, notes. So picked up file dividers to separate each unit that I'll be doing. Um, a stapler because everybody needs a stapler for notes and things like that. An extra little space case or pencil case. I call them space cases. Pencil case and some pens, pencils. I'm going to tidy this up try and relax a little bit probably gonna read i'm currently reading the mothers by Britt bennett and uh yeah because there's no power that gives me a little bit of a chance to read pack up this mess that's in here and then wait till the power comes back i just got a text from my father what it's my father wanting And then you will go away I'm not gonna be begging you to stay mm -hmm. So maybe if you asked me yesterday I would handle this differently Things are different, I'm a new me That's not gonna happen That's not gonna happen That's not, that's not gonna happen So even if you're asking Even, even if you're asking Cause I do So I just came from the shops, uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's been a relatively quiet morning for me because I decided last night that no, I actually want to take today off. I actually decided last night because it's been such a busy week and I've been working so hard and pushing content so much and I've started with school this week that I really just wanted today off where I just completely switch off and that's exactly what I'm going to do and when I mean switch off I mean read uh, I'm currently reading The Mothers by Britt Bennett let me get it let me get it currently reading The Mothers by Britt Brit Bennett and I am loving it so far it's 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 a really so far it's it's the writing is excellent, of course. There's a lot of parts in the book that I've highlighted because she, she writes exceptionally well, but it follows uh, the life of a young lady by the name of Nadia. And Nadia loses her mother to suicide when she's 16 or 17. And she then takes up with the pastor's son. So they live in a community called Oceanside or Seaside, Oceanside. And uh, she takes uh, she takes up with the pastor's son, 
and uh, she falls pregnant, right? So they, they like each other, they court each other, whatever, whatever, and then they end up doing things, you know what kids go and do, you know? Uh, and then uh, she falls pregnant but she decides that she's not going to keep the baby so already you can tell there are a lot of a lot of triggering subjects i'm only 82 pages into this book and i've already read up on suicide and i've read on uh, an abortion and all of that um but it just follows her life quietly follows her life and the life of her father and what they've experienced or gone through since the passing of her mother you know judgments from other people judgments from the people at the church that um, her and her father and her mother uh, attended because the mother happened to um, do this act where she took her own life behind the church. So there's a lot that is surrounding all of that, which I'm still learning and uncovering as I read. But the mothers is this group of women that are in the church that everybody sends their prayers through to on notes and things like that, a group of elderly women that uh, sit and convene in a room in the church on a weekly basis and they pray for um, everybody who's going through difficult times in the church and Nadia is one of the children that they pray for but um, at the point where um, Nadia has recently crashed her father's car um, because she went to a party in the hopes that she would see Luke there the pastor's son who has since um acted funny towards her pretty much ignored her and all of that since she did the deed of um the abortion and she went to the party she got a little lit she crashed her father's car and now she is working in the church and helping out the first lady of the church the pastor's wife um with you know menial work um small things here and there doing also a little bit of admin as well so that's pretty much that that's what I've read so far. It's written really well. It's Britt Bennett. The cover is amazing. Uh, I'm going to be out of power in the next two hours. In the next hour, uh, at two o'clock, I won't. I'll be out of power for the next two hours after that. So it'll come back at around four. Um, so in that time, I'm going to read and looking forward to that. But before I do that, I am going to make myself something to eat, which includes a cup of coffee and really fixing for a slice of toast, avocado, and some tomatoes. You know, the exotic tomatoes on top, season that, maybe add a little bit of um, balsamic reduction. Hey ho hey, that's it, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm actually here for is, my lips are really dry, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. I just came back from the store. My love for Twinnings tea is actually quite problematic. And the reason being because Twinnings tea costs two million. Do you understand what I'm saying? Twinnings tea is very expensive for tea for like 20 or 30 uh, 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 tea bags. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling kind of uh, a little bit frazzled. All right, for razzle bedazzled. You know what I'm saying? Catch me outside. So I'm feeling a little bit frazzled because I've spent a lot of money buying this tea. I wanted to get the Twinnings green tea, which I really love, but that's 120 bucks. And I was just like, no, catch me outside. So I got the Lipton classic green tea, which is great. I am out of green tea. But my favorite from Twinnings, which I try not to compromise on, and I drink them, I do not drink them as often because if I did, then I would truly be in trouble, um, are these ones. <laughs> if I did, then I'd be spending a lot of money on tea, and I ain't trying to do that. These ones right here. So these are the Twinnings teas these are my favorite ones um i especially love infusal and it's crazy because the lemon and ginger one i didn't like initially just after i bought it but then i started drinking it more often and i was just like actually this is quite nice so i really like this one in the evenings when i'm turning down along with chamomile it'll depend on the evening like today i'll have infusal lemon and ginger and the next day i'll have chamomile when I go to bed and I'll have a cup of tea, a good strong cup of tea. And then peppermint is the tea that I wake up with. So this is my morning tea. First thing in the morning, if I'm home, typically on the weekends. Um, I do not drink peppermint tea much over 
the week because I'm at the office and I'm typically drinking green tea at the office. But peppermint on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because most of the time I am working at home on Fridays, typically I'll drink this um, in the morning to start up my morning because it's very fresh. It's great for the digestive tract as well. Love it. The chamomile is great to just relax your body if you have some digestive problems of your tummy aches or whatever. Chamomile is really great for that. So, But uh, right now I'm not going to have tea. This tea alone, these alone, it's 80 bucks for one. So, okay, 82 bucks for one. 8, 16, 24. 240, 40s. Catch me outside. And then, because I'm on my period <laughs> and I don't have biscuits in my house and I really love, uh, love biscuits with coffee in the afternoon, I pick these up. Um, it is that time of the month. I do have a little bit of period pain. So this portion of the vlog is going to be the last portion. I'm going to eat. I'm going to take some tablets. I haven't taken my antidepressants. Oh, my God. going to eat, take some tablets, and probably just relax on the couch for the rest of the afternoon. Also picked up some um, hot chicken-flavored ramen from Samyang. I really like this one because it's got like a carbonara sauce and I'm thinking I might have this later because I've got bacon in the fridge and then I can just saute the bacon, add it to this and hey ho carbonara baby, yeah, could do that, could do that, I don't know. And then because I am loyal, because I am a loyal, I'm going to put this in the fridge right now so that it chills, so that when the power goes, I take it and I have myself a drink, okay? It's Friday. So now Monday what I'll do, we'll split it down the middle. Is that okay with you? <laughs> we'll see how much it is. If, if it's a lot, I'll, I'll take, yeah, I will do that on Monday. If it's a lot, I'll take maybe 70% of the cost. And then if it's, if it's, though, so that will be up to us. I don't know how, how long you would. I mean, we can, I guess, yeah, I guess. And I'll give you the full um, amount, and then we'll decide how we split it. Yeah. All right, dog, shop, shop. I was talking to my sister on the phone, planning uh, kind of a, a something. So, yeah, I'm going to make this. girl look at this girl look how pretty she is that's forest street by the way decided at the very last minute to add ah uh, ah uh, that oatly milk sweetie sweetie so creamy mm, so creamy so i decided at the very last minute to add the tomato ba uh, basil pesto tomato paste pesto tomato pesto that and this is something that I typically have quite a lot. Um, just a lot of the time, it's just the the ever and the tomato. But today, I just decided to spice it up a little bit. 
And let's have a taste test, shall we? Shall we? We shall. We shall. So, it's got the saltiness. If you like, you could actually add chili flakes to this and it would boost it up and make it much more spicier. If you're somebody who likes spicy stuff, I've got my green smoothie in the back there because I'm going to have that a little bit later. I'm going to put it in the fridge. But, this, that's my sister blowing me up. No, it's not my sister. Mmm. My friends, my friends. So, really good. That tomato, basil, pesto, tomato pesto is taking it far, man. Mm. Mm. A girl. Truly the girl she thinks she is. And probably in this vlog off here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I haven't been cooking much, but it's cause I really haven't been cooking much. Um, but we're gonna change that. I bought meat the other day. We're gonna change that. There'll be vlog content with food in it. And I know that you like that stuff. Maybe a what I eat in a day, we'll see, but I'm at work. So that's a bit tricky. That would be something I'd have to film over the weekend. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Until the next video, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, Please do subscribe to the channel. Also click the notification bell so that you know each and every single time I do upload. Also, if you do not mind, join the space with JK, my membership space. We have a good time there. There's a video there every week and two videos on the main space every week. So three in total each week around 10 to 12 in the afternoon, typically on a Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, mwah. sayonara. Can you tell that I'm in pain? I'm in pain, girls. Pure pain. Okay, I'll see you soon.